Yo, what's up guys, it's Brendan here, and today I'm making a quick tutorial on how to make curved motion tracking. Um, you can see this in my Hotline Bling edit, and I know some people like um, Ter Ter12 used it in his bars edit for Phase Linksy. And um, I looked up a tutorial on how to do it, but I could never find one, so I figured that I'll make one. Um, because I ended up finding out how to do it, and for this, uh, curve motion tracking you'll just need element 3d v2 i think i don't know if it works on v1 um i haven't tried it but um yeah just uh make sure you get v2 and yeah let's get into it so first what you're going to want to do is make a new composition um you can just name it motion track um i don't have any like cinematics that i just recorded for like motion track so i downloaded one um, let's see. So you're gonna want to get your cinematic for your motion tracking. I'm gonna get mine from Vila's pack. I'm just use. I'm just use this right here. All right, and then um, once this gets imported, I don't know why it's taking so long. All right, there we go. And once it gets imported, you're just gonna want to drag it into your composition like this and then um, you could like just drag it into a new composition by itself but I'm just leave it like this for tutorial purposes I'm actually just gonna make it a little bit longer uh, let's... All right, there we go alright this should be long enough alright then I'm just go to the end press N trim comp to work area Alright, so we got this like nine second motion track. And um so what you're gonna wanna do is make your text and then I'm gonna just make it say uh tutorial because you know that's what everybody does. I'm gonna just space it out better. Let's see, 25. Yeah, that's good. And then pick your font. I don't even know what font to have since I just got Windows 10. And I don't think I've like installed any new font. So I'm just, uh, let's see. Yeah, I have absolutely no fonts right now. What's this? I'm gonna just go back to the one I had. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm about to make another one, or make another line, then type something else in. So, tutorial video. Oh, uh, yeah, forget it. I'm gonna just keep it like that. And then um, you're just gonna set up your text to make sure it looks right. Alright, and this looks good right here. So whenever you get your text ready, um, you're gonna wanna um, track your camera for your motion track. And you can easily do that by right clicking, then clicking track camera. Then it'll track the camera. Um, I don't know how long this will take. I'm gonna just pause the video until it's done. So while it's like tracking the camera, you can go get some like Kool-Aid or Reese's peanut butter cups or something, whatever you want. So I'll be back when it's done. All right, so whenever your stuff is done uh, motion tracking, um, what you're gonna wanna do is click on your motion track layer and then click on 3D camera tracker and you'll see all these points come up. Um, if you already like know all this stuff about like basic motion tracking, then you can just skip it. But if not, then you can just keep watching. So what you're going to do is um, pick like a generally flat surface that's at a, a 90 degree angle. Like this one right here, it's not really flat, but like it kind of is, I guess. So I'm just click that, then click create null in camera. So once you do this, you'll see a track null and a 3D camera, 3D track camera come up. And um, you're going to want to get a new solid. Uh, you can make it black. I think it has to be black, but I'm not sure. Then you're going to go to Effect, Video Copilot, and Element. And just wait for it to load up. Alright, once your Element 3D loads up, um, you're going to want to go to Custom Layers, Custom Text and Mask. And um, for Path Layer 1, you can put your Text Layer. And if you have multiple Text Layers, um, you can either, like you can put one into... Um, and then like layer one and then the other one into path layer two 
but since I only have one, I only need one path layer to be like taken up. And um, most people in their motion track, they duplicate their cinematic, and um, it takes a while to duplicate, at least for me, because my computer's not that good. But um, then on the last uh, motion track, you're gonna wanna um, delete the 3D camera tracker off of it, and then you're gonna wanna find a good part, like in the cinematic, that'll look like it has um, good lighting. So I'm gonna just pick this one, and then you're gonna wanna go to layer, time, and then freeze frame. So that means that this one is gonna be like frozen at that like one point in time. Um, and it looks good for lighting and reflections that come off your motion track but you can hide your text layer now and you're going to go back to your black solid that has your element on it and um you're going to want to click on the custom texture maps and put on the cinematic that has freeze frame on it which is uh, number six for me so i put on number six and then once you do that you're going to want to click scene setup Wait for it to load up. Uh, uh, Alright, there we go. And then um, you're going to want to click extrude. And you can see your text right here. Um, it's kind of laggy right now because I'm recording and I have something installing. But um, then you're going to want to pick your material. Um, some people, they just do like a basic white material, but they know how to make it look nice. I don't know how to do that, so I'm gonna just pick like a pro shader metal. Uh, I'm gonna just pick the one that looks the nicest. Um, let's see what this one looks like. Alright, yeah, this one looks good. Alright, and then when you do that, you're gonna want to um, go to environment. Then you're going to want to click this drop down menu, then go to custom layer 1, and this will load up your map. So as you can see the reflections on uh, on the text are from the map. You can kind of see the green from the grass, uh, the gray from like the sky. And then if you want to edit like the extrusion of your text and stuff, all you have to do is click on this drop down menu um, on the extrusion model, and then click on the material itself and you can extrude it like this and i'll make it bigger or like thicker and uh yeah i'm gonna just keep it like that and you can go to bump and then if you bump this up it makes the material stand out more so like the ridges are more rigid i guess you can say so i'm just leave it like this um i don't know it's lagging like this I'm just keep it like this, I don't care. But um, once you do that, then uh, you can turn up the reflection some. The reflection for the metals are basically already high because metal is just like a reflective material. So you can just leave that the same. And then you're gonna wanna go to um, advanced and then you can turn up the AO amount, which is ambient occlusion. You can turn that up some. It doesn't really do anything, but people swear it does. So you can just do it. And then you're gonna want to press OK. And as you can see, the text is—it's not really like tracked how we like where we want it. So what you're gonna want to do is whatever After Effects stop back and dumb. What the fuck? Right, so what you're gonna want to do is um take, go to your track null and press P and that opens up to positions for it then you're going to want to go to your black solids and then you're going to want to go to particle replicator and you're going to want to just write down these values into here and this one the first one is x the second one is always y and the third one is always z so for x you're going to want to put um, whatever the first one is i'm going to do 1049 because that's what it is then 1057 and then um seven eight seven four and if you just keep moving along you can see it right there it's kind of small 
She's just gonna have to play with the values until you get it how you like it. And I'm gonna just make it go up some. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna just put it at 640. That's not good. Um, it's kind of like a number game. That's a little bit too much, so 420 yellow. Oh, that's good. And then you're gonna wanna move the X to where it's good, which is like right here. Okay. I think I wanna bring the Z up so it looks closer to the screen. Alright. Then he's gonna have to keep playing with this until it gets like where you want it to go. Alright. Then once you get that, to get a basic curve, what you're gonna wanna do is go to particle look. Um then go to multi object and enable this. Alright, and then you're gonna see all these keyframes or all these like effects that you can do and it's gonna minimize that then you're gonna want to go uh, keep going down until you see this deform and then it's already gonna be enabled so all you have to do is just you can mess with these if you enable the taper um, it'll like go from big to small like on one side so if you bump this up uh, let's see put this on 25 or, yeah, you can see it tapers, so then control Z, and then just disable that. What most people do is they do a bend, and they enable it, and then they just change the angle. And then you can either have it bend on the x-axis, which will make it look like either a smiley face or a frowny face, or you can bend it across the y-axis, which will make it go like this from small to uh, large to small or across the z-axis which if you do this some more you can see it um like bends backwards so yeah that looks pretty cool um once you do that you can just like do your basic stuff that you do with your motion track like adding um like drop shadow and stuff oh, let's see uh effect i think it's under perspective and then drop shadow then you can add this to make it look um like to make it pop out more uh turn the softness up some and then you can turn the opacity up some if you want and then the distance up that's too much Okay, and then if you don't like how it's bending, uh, you can just keep changing the, um, like, you can go through all of these and see which one you like, like, there's not, like, one, like, particular one that I like, even though bend does, like, look better than most, cause, but it's what everybody basically uses, so I'm just stick with the X, and then I'm gonna just bump it up something like this, and that's just a basic curve, um, if you want, after you do this, you can add your lighting and your ambient occlusion, which will make it look nicer. So if you go to um, render settings and then open up ambient occlusion and enable it, and then you'll see you get some nice shadows over here. Then you're gonna wanna bump up the intensity like a lot. Not that much, cause that shit looks ugly. But enough to like make you like know that there's ambient occlusion right there. So make it like 5.8 or maybe 4. It's different for every cinematic, so like don't just copy my settings. But um, if you change the samples, it can make it look nicer. Um, you can kind of see like a small change right here, right there. And um, the radius will make it look different. So you can just like play with these and find whatever you wanna. Whichever one, like whichever settings you want to use, and then you can go to lighting and add lighting, and you can pick which one 
people use product um some use i think it's cinema some people use underwater it's basically up to you whichever one you want to use um and yeah that's basically all like you can just keep scrolling through these some of them are ugly though so you just have to find which one you want to use and which one looks nice for your cinematic if you're on like a snowy map like you should use um something like underwater or aqua because it'll give off like a blue tint on the reflections so it'll make it look like it's reflecting the snow and it looks really nice so and you can add some depth of field if you really want to it's not that big of a deal but yeah, that's basically all on how to make the basic curve of it that like motion track isn't that nice because it is a tutorial and i'm just trying to get this out but um yeah you should just spend more time on it and you can make it look like nicer like really nice and um yeah that's basically all if you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and a comment um subscribe if you want and um comment below telling me what kind of tutorial you want next I might do a Twixter tutorial, I don't know, Twixter with sniping clips, because, um, yeah, I don't really see a lot of those, so yeah, um, like I said before, just leave a like and a comment, and y'all.